Dream Team, it's your boy D Neil back with another reaction video, guys. Here we are with 1991 NBA Finals Game Four, Part Four. Uh, Bulls went up uh, in that a third quarter. I think the game's a wrap. I think it's going to turn into an all-out blowout. Also, before the between third and fourth quarter, they said James Worthy ankle is getting worse from an injury he suffered in the series before this. So. They really ain't got no chance without him. Uh, man, let's see this blow out because I know that's what it's about to be. So make sure y'all subscribe, ring notification bell, give the video a thumbs up. Let's do it. Dave, were they suffering a sprained left ankle in game five in Portland? 16. Has been yeah. Magic okay, Magic. Magic. The fourth quarter, the crowd urging the Lakers on. They now trail 74 to 60. The Lakers 7 for 21. Dreadful shooting in the third. They were only 5 for 20. Oh, we got Scotty. Second. While the Bulls have shot well. Oh, Deans my God. You just threw that up. With the loose ball foul against Chicago. It's on Scott Williams who had just checked back in. Lakers with Magic Johnson and Terry Teagle at the guards. A.C. Green, Roddy Devon, Sam Perkins up front. Here's Teagle. Nope. Devon. Okay, hold on. It's a 12-point Chicago lead. Hold up, Los Angeles. Greg Hodges back. And Michael Jordan in the backcourt. Scotty Pippen, Cliff Levingston, and Scott Williams up front. Hold on. Important sequence for the Lakers. And one. I said he was going to turn into an all out blowout, dog. Lakers come in and go on a 6-0 run. Be 7 if he make this free throw after ripping the fourth quarter. Hold up. Hold up, Los Angeles. The Lakers able to go back. No one wants to win more than Magic Johnson. He's frustrated right now. He knows he needs to pick it up. He's taking it into his own hands. Seven on answer by the Lakers. But we got Mike. You got. Uh oh. Oh. Oh, good. I thought he was going to pull it. Uh, I didn't see the foul. But he said I think it was a trip. Oh, kickball. Once Magic. Great feel for where everyone is on the floor. Teagle called for the foul. His first. I didn't see it. Oh my God! Chicago turnover. This can't be for real. Perkins no. From downtown. It will be Laker ball. You're not hitting that. You hit a couple of them in the first game, Sam, but I'm not by I'm not believing in it. I'm not believing in it. Yes. Yes. It's almost can nobody else create a play or dribble or do anything without magic. That's why when you go to the bench, they get so awful because he relied on way too much just to do a simple like dribble the ball down. Just to get the offense in any kind of motion, they need Magic to have a ball in his hand. Towards the Magic, you're not going to get easy scores that way. Sam Perkins now one for twelve. Bulls have led by as many as sixteen. Come on, Vladdy. Shot clock at five. He's not making that. He He's not make it. That's <laughs> that they don't have to extend the defense to the perimeter, dog. Hey, that's if Sam Perkins beat you with threes, dog. That's something that you easily live with. But they not even going. I ain't not even worried about. Say like we ain't letting Lottie get this bucket. 
They not even worried about saying. I and I, I if I'm on the Bulls, I'm not worried about nobody on the team beating us from the three, dog. For 13 for Sam Perkins. Has changed his shot completely now. He's on the run before he releases the basketball. Hodges. Oh, good Perkins finish. Stepping out looking for the good room. finish, Hodges. Soft touch by Greg Hodges. And the Bulls lead 76. 65. He wasn't going to make it no way. Time out. Need to make an impact the ball game through for the day. All right, Steve. So the book is closed on Worthy. Six for 16 for 12 points. Three minutes gone by in the fourth quarter. And the Bulls lead the Lakers by 11. Come on, Sam. This is more your range. Sam Perkins now one for 14. And one for 14, dog. Last touch by the Lakers. Again, Cliff Levington, the, the subtleties of Levington's hustle, he rotated that time just enough to get the Cliff is huge. Change that shot huge team. for the team. Jordan Cash. Too much space. That's Mike. That's Mike, dog. To a 13 point lead. Lakers showed some signs at the start of this fourth quarter that the Bulls have come back. It will be Laker ball with 13 on the 24. Because of Worthy having the bad ankle and because of the other players' inability to really create off the dribble, the Bulls are able to recover, recover defensively so much of the time because. L.A. just wants to swing the ball around the outside and does not want to break them down off the dribble. Exactly. They can't do nothing from the outside. Will throw it in. The Bulls know they just got to defend the inside. Well, Mike Dunleavy earlier promised to wholesale change. Here come the, the trap. Basically stayed with the starters. Green is fouled. What's the call? Because of the ankle injury. All right, drive, Green. You need one straight. out of two of them, Green. You need at least one of them, dog. He's coming to you. AC only a 74% free throw shooter during the regular season. In his sixth year out of there you go, AC. That's all we can ask for. Instructing the youngster, put him up straight. Williams saying, I'm trying to stop him. He was getting ready to shoot the ball. I didn't want to give him a layup. Okay, I see. Okay, it's still a game. It's still a game. Good defense. Travel. Yes, sir. Agree. AC committing his first. And Byron Scott returns. Byron Scott 0 for 8. Game 3 missed his first two here this evening. He's hit his last two. I need you to keep play. going, Byron. Again, Cliff Levingston getting the playing time. Pippen. Hodges. Rebounded by Magic. Eluding. Quick He's spinning baseline. Here come the help. There we go. Said it. Yeah, I don't agree with the call either, Mike. I don't agree with it either. Received the ball, got there in time, and perhaps caused an extra step in there before the ball was put on the floor. Oh, dang, they in a penalty? On Jordan, Tigo an 82% free throw shooter. Oh no! The ball 78, and the Lakers 68. Get it back to single digits here. Chicago. There's still hope. There's still hope, Los Angeles. Might might end it right here though. Hodges 
from deep. Divac on the rebound. Uh oh, Lottie. Good call, Rev. Good call, good call. Let me see it again. But Phil Jackson showed yeah. a lot of confidence Good in call. Levingston coming over to help his part eight times in the game when the Lakers are trying to make their little run. Levingston coming over to help his partner from the bench on the floor. Team defense is what it's all about. Phil Jackson getting set to make changes. Horace Grant, Bill Cartwright, John Paxson over at the scorer's table. Oh, it's going to be a wrap. They sending a sniper in the game. And they sitting a horse in the game. Cartwright ain't really doing too much, but Grant and Paxson make a difference. player over a 13-year NBA career told us he received calls wishing him well prior to the start of the series from a number of former teammates. Especially pleased to hear from his one-time coach Red Holzman, who won two championships with the New York Knicks. Also heard from one-time teammate United States Senator Bill Bradley. Seven-point game. The Lakers have cut it to seven. Just under seven minutes remaining in the fourth. Oh, my God. The whistle blowing every five seconds. Has not contributed. While the Bulls have, the Lakers are only down by seven. That's surprising. They're, they're in terrific position, if you can say that, being down seven at this time. But after mentioning all the things that you did, you're right. Seven points down with all this time and the, the crowd finally into it. They got a chance. The sniper. I just, I just don't understand how he ends up open so many times. Like, he's the most lethal threat they have from perimeter. I just don't get how he's the guy that you're leaving so many times. I don't, I'm, I'm not, I will never understand this. Jesus. He has so many open catches. They got a chance. It's insane. John Paxson has been a crusher for the Lakers. Five out of eight for Paxson. He has 11. And the Bulls lead at 80, 71. No, you know you're not making that. You know you're not making that. For six and it leads to this. You know you're not making that, Teagle. How many times in the playoffs have the Bulls done this, where they answer the challenge after a timeout, just when the other team's on a roll, they come back and answer, to quiet the crowd, and then open the lead once again. Scotty Pippen again doing a good job against Magic Johnson. There you go. That's who y'all gotta feed. That's who y'all gotta feed right there. Seventy-three. Five minutes, forty seconds to go. And the fourth quarter. And a defense from the crowd. Brent. That's a bucket. Ooh. Yeah, Horace a monster down there. Pip in the other times. Horace Grant, 25 years old, out of Augusta, Georgia. He will celebrate his 26th on the 4th of July. One of the fastest and quickest power forwards in the NBA. Gunning for his 14th point. Bulls lead by 11. Lakers going with their version of a three guard alignment, which includes the six foot nine Magic Johnson, along with Terry Teagle and Byron Scott. Shot clock at three. Magic has to get Lock and foul. And it's an offensive foul. That's four. Johnson. That just ain't enough contact to me to be an offensive foul, dog. Like, it's just not enough contact. I feel like there's got to be more. After they've softened them up 
up a little bit, tired him out a little bit during the first three quarters of the basketball game with Jordan guarding Magic. Then they come back and put Pippen on him, bigger and stronger, able to be more. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that one, bro. Jordan being guarded by Tigo. Action played by Scott. Jordan That's a bucket. Ooh. On the rebound. What we got? Oh, Lottie was over. Boy, they blowing this whistle. They, they, what, they gonna blow this whistle, dog. There's not much time left on the 24 second clock. Magic going right. The good anticipation by the I'm not defense. giving them that. Offensive foul. I wouldn't call it a defensive foul either, but I'm not giving them that offensive foul, man. And the Bulls with their fifth. Team foul, putting Magic on the line. <laughs> 21 points for Magic Johnson, along with 11 assists. And he is perfect, 10 for 10 from the line. Chicago 84, Los Angeles 75, four and a half remaining in the fourth quarter. Cartwright feeling for Devox. Yes. Okay, Cartwright. Bill Cartwright with a strong move. He's okay, Bill. He has 11. The Bulls extend to an 11 point lead. And then a la the Lakers run the clock down, milk it to the end before you make a shot. Devox with the. Lottie, man. Lottie going to be there. 77, Chicago. The Chicago Bulls during the regular season won the Central with a record of 61 and 21. The oh my God! The he slipped hard. Bucket. I'm bro, John Paxson, bro. The Bulls lead 88 to 77. And a tie. John Paxson, bro, is crazy, dog. This joker right here, man. The shoulder. Scott hit a wet spot on the floor. Yeah, he did. Oh, oh my God, that looked like his ribs actually. Pick and roll. Scott was at sixty-six percent. What's his sixty-two percent? Yeah. Shooting only thirty-six percent for the game. While the Bulls again on fire at fifty-two percent. We're down to three forty remaining in the fourth. And Chicago leads 88-77. Lakers remain the same following the timeout. Magic having difficulty off the double team. Shot clock down to one. Scott too late. It's a 24-second violation. Oh, dang. He shot the ball. Byron Scott dragging the right arm down. As soon as he released it, that right arm dropped to his side. That shoulder definitely bothering him. Byron Scott shoots. Perhaps... Oof. Get him out Pippen's the game, body. coach. He done. Y'all done lost. Get, get, rest him up. By the Chicago Bulls. Scott try to steal it, and the foul is called. That's number five. See shot opportunity. Let me see that. Only two out of four from the field. Not able to get the shot opportunities. And off that steal attempt, he's called. I don't know if I'm calling that either. Lakers now over the limit. <laughs> Bill Carter had a rough day physically. Aggravating that Los Angeles Lakers, they lost James Worthy. Missed earlier. the first. Aggravating that sprained ankle. And now Scott headed back to the locker room. Got to hit one. You always got to hit one, Bill. Michael Jordan. Always got to get one. Playing with the jam toe, 25 points, along with 13 assists. Monty Devox coming up strong, 25 there you points, go. 10 rebounds. And Magic Johnson, 22 points, 11 assists. The Bulls, 89. The Lakers, 77. Time running out on the Los Angeles Lakers. A Chicago victory, and they will take a 3-1 lead in the best of seven. Yeah, they will. Oh my God, Lottie, bro, Lottie is a monster. Showing his quickness. All right, Mike, go ahead, close him out. Put 
Pippen. Look at this. Open again. Oh. Who's good? Why do they keep turning they They don't. I can't help these dudes, bro. I can't. If you are guarding John Paxson, do not turn your head from him. This man gets into an open space and he hits more times, much more times than he misses, bro. I can't watch them play defense on Paxson because it's just awful. It, it's so awful that it hurts, dog. Look, look, he don't even know where he at at the top of the key. John Paxson, seven for 11 for 15 points. There's a groove on the right side of the floor that Paxson just slides into to make the open jumper. Oh my God! Perkins able to keep it alive. Teagle had it knocked away. Oh my God! Mike, you good, bro? I'm be doing that, Mike. Terry Teagle trying to make a move off the dribble, which is good. They need somebody to break down the defense, but then you have to oh my have God to make the pass. Jordan with the hustle at all times into the crowd to try and save it. Oh my God! Okay, Mike. Well, defensively, statistically, the Bulls, the top defensive team in the playoffs, I can tell you. The ten years, and they have come up strong in that department once again tonight. Pippen, and he was blocked by Divac. Behind the head, Jordan had two. Let me when see that block. Is around, is the block. Give me that. From behind What's the wrong head, with you, Jordan Sam? And loves to go by and swipe. So, Pippen to the line for the first time. A minute 46 remaining in the fourth quarter. And the Bulls now lead it 92-79. Jordan leads his team in so many categories, scoring the obvious one, then assists here in the playoffs. Happens to have the most blocks on this team as well in the playoff series. Yeah, that's a ball game. Time to put the reserves in. To the third, 26 points, 13 assists, five rebounds, and two block shots. Fortunate for the Lakers, he wasn't healthy. Lakers made a couple of changes. Tony Smith, a rookie from Marquette, has come on for the first time. Pippen, able to deflect it. 93-79, and Smith will inbound. This one a wrap, dog. Lakers turn it over. <laughs> That's just what the Bulls do. It make you hurry and do all the small things. Get, they don't let you complete, catch easy passes, or get easy looks at the basket because of the quickness. You hit it earlier. The key word for their defense, recovery. Andrew tried to draw the foul. For 15, Sam Perkins had been going so Sam. well throughout the play. Yeah, dang, Sam. Tonight, yeah, tonight just wasn't your seven, night, big dog. He hit. He shows a stat line that he'd like to forget about. Magic Johnson will sit down. Terry Teagle is back. Magic, 22 points, 11 assists. And no team in the history of the NBA Finals has ever come back after being down three games to one. Until the great one was down three games to one. The chosen one. As they face game five here at the Forum on Wednesday night. They will be trailing three games to one. The Lakers pulling a surprise by taking game one in Chicago last Sunday, 93-91. The Bulls coming back in game two. Here's Pippen. God. <laughs> Scotty Pippen with 13. The Bulls now lead at 97-79. Oh, that, that looked a little like a backcourt. Are they getting their guys out? Yeah, 
Yes, Phil Jackson and Michael Jordan, Scotty Pippen. Michael Jordan looking for his first NBA championship, and he will be gunning for it on Wednesday night. 36 seconds remaining. And the Bulls lead at 97-80. The other question concerning the Los Angeles Lakers, the injury status of James Worthy. Ah, oh, no, yeah, the Lakers don't fall. Both forced to leave early and head back to the locker room. Scott with a shoulder problem, and Worthy re-aggravated the ankle. Here's Armstrong giving it up. Knocked down. Down to 10 seconds left. Drew. Bulls lead 97. 82. Final okay. The Chicago Bulls come away with a resounding victory. In command. Yeah, this is just a mismatch, dog. This honestly just a mismatch. Chicago's defense is too smothering for Los Angeles. On top of Chicago not having to really guard the perimeter. Just got to find a way to stop L.A. Bigs, who are pretty good. But once you trap them, life is tough. Uh, that's all we got. Make sure y'all subscribe. Ring notification bell. Get a video a thumbs up. It's your boy, Daniel. Out.